folks, welcome to the next episode of Differential Equations. I'm your host, Rifat Bari, perfect ACT score, Harvard Exoplanet researcher, and I'm a perfect GPA student here at the City College of New York, where I study physics. So today, we're gonna be talking about a ball falling with a resistance. So, here's the situation we have. We drop a ball from rest and we want to find the terminal velocity of this guy by the time its velocity approaches t infinity. So how are we going to solve this problem? Well, we're going to have to set up a differential equation for the forces acting on this ball. So we know that the forces acting on this ball, we might as well start with the acceleration of the ball, right? And the acceleration of the ball, given by d squared dt squared, is gonna start with gravity, right? G. But there's also a resistance here, right? A resistance. A resistance cushioning the ball, slowing it down. And this a resistance is gonna be proportional to the ball's velocity. Hence, we subtract from the gravitational force an a resistance force that is proportional to the ball's velocity dy dt by a constant of proportionality k. And now, all that's uh, remaining to do is solve for v. Oh, you say, where is v? Ah, well notice, this is a second order differential equation. Or is it? It's not. If you replace d squared y dt uh, dt squared by dv dt, Right? Because the change in uh, the second derivative of the position is simply the first derivative of velocity. And so we have, in rewritten terms, dv dt is g minus kv, a simple separable differential first order equation. And so now we solve simply for v. So dv uh, over g minus kv is equal to dt. Integrate both sides with respect to their respective variables. A very uh, nice line that I like to say. And so this is gonna be log of the absolute value of g minus kv is equal to 